Comic Army, welcome back. My name is Chris. I am the Comic Vet. Today on my channel, it's Mystery Box Monday again. Today I'm going to be opening a box from Torpedo Comics. This is a $100 box that is essentially my lottery ticket to the opportunity to win a Silver Surfer number one at a mid grade CGC, I believe, of four and a half. Uh, everyone knows the Silver Surfer. It's a f he's a fun character, one of Stan Lee's favorite creations and uh, Jack Kirby as well. Uh, let's just get right into this box, okay? I believe at this point everyone knows how it works. Uh, if I've won the grand prize, there'll be a Polaroid either taped to the inside lid of the box or taped to the cellophane wrapper, or pardon me, the wrapping paper that they close uh, the, the books that are in the mystery box with. So I will crack this open here and show everyone. Not looking good. What fell out there was a flyer. Yep, the flyer. It just says, uh, thank you for purchasing our Silver Surfer mystery box. All right, unless there's some sort of magical Polaroid somewhere else. Not looking good. I don't think I've won this. But let's just get into what books are in store for my future. Packaged beautifully by Torpedo Comics, as they always do. There is a, a large stack of books here. So let's just get right into this, Comic Army. On the back of this book, they have written 2009, uh, 8.0, very fine. Uh, we have a boys spin-off book. This is Harold Gasm, uh, issue number three. Uh, they have a $10 price tag on it. On the back of the next book it says 1982 7.0, fine, very fine. We have an Uncanny X-Men. This is Uncanny X-Men issue 165 and they have a $10 price tag on it. This is not John Byrne's work. I'm not familiar with who the cover is. But yeah, we can see that Storm is Storm is mutating into a type of bug. On the back of this book, they just have 6.5 written down. Uh, we have a Todd McFarlane Spider-Man. This is issue eight of the solo, or pardon me, the uh, Todd McFarlane book that was released in the early early 90s, 1991 it actually has written here. Very cool. 7.5 written on the back of this. Conan the Barbarian, issue 33, it's a 20 cent book. They have $10 uh, written on it. Or pardon me, they have a $10 price tag on it. On the back of this, they have 9.0. That actually almost looks like a 2.0, but it does. I, I'm hoping it says 9.0. Very cool. This is a $60 Detective Comics issue 532. Uh, this is where we have the Joker on the Joker train about to run over the Dark Knight. Very cool book. This is a Gene Conlon cover. On the back of this, there is no grade, so I'm presuming it's very modern. And it is. Uh, it's Harley Quinn's issue number one, Villain of the Year. They have a $20 price tag on it. Again, nothing written on the back of this particular issue. This is uh, a $30 cover cover by. It looks like it's, I believe, Captain Marvel standing over the Avengers. They're all defeated. Let's just pop this open to verify. Yeah. 
Captain Marvel issue number 12, Virgin variant. Again, not, nothing written on the back of this cover. It does feel like a thicker book. So knowing Torpedo, I'm probably going to guess that this is a Detective Comics. Nope. This is Wonder Woman 750. They have $35 on the cover. Very nice. Very nice. On the back of this book, they do have something written. It's It says 5.0. Very good to find. So I'm presuming this is probably going to be a little bit of an older book as well. Green Arrow. Green Arrow issue zero. It's a $10, $10 cover, cover buy. Yes, issue zero. On the back of this book, they have written 8.5. Okay, we have Plastic Man from DC. It's issue 11. That's Kyle Baker doing an Americana homage. Very nice. And the last book on the back, they have 2001, graded 8.5, very fine plus. Let's see what the final book is. Nightwing, Our World at War. This is issue number one. I'm presuming this is a mini series. I am not familiar with Nightwing, Our Worlds at War. I'm not sure if this is a, a DC crossover from 2001 or if this is just something Night Nightwing was dealing with himself. Anyways, just for a quick recap, everyone. DC, Our Worlds at War, issue one. $10 retail price tag on that, by the way. Plastic Man, issue 11, $10 retail price tag on this one. Issue 0 of Green Arrow, $10 retail price tag on this one. Wonder Woman 750, $35 price tag on this very thick comic book. $30 on this Captain Marvel Virgin variant. Very nice work, actually. A $20 price tag on Harley Quinn's issue number one, Villain of the Year. My favorite book of the lot, Detective Comics 532. They have a 60 retail price tag on this one. $10 price tag on issue 33 of Conan the Barbarian. Todd McFarlane's title, Spider-Man, issue number eight, $10 price tag. $10 price tag on issue 165 of The Uncanny X-Men. And the first book I showed everyone, Hero Gasm, issue three, also with a $10 price tag. Little Comic Army, it was an okay box. I'm not quite sure if I got my $100 back or not uh, again this is probably the big hit of the box let's be honest and uh, yeah let me know what you think in the comments uh, if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing hit that like button and uh, again I'll see you all very very soon take care